Yo, what is poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. Boys, we are bringing the big bass energy today, man. Bring in the big bass energy and we're gonna be catching some big bass and you got you know why i say that man you know why i say we're gonna catch some big bass because that's the confidence thing man big bass energy you gotta have it you gotta have the confidence you gotta go out there with a positive mindset and go kill it man if you guys have been struggling don't let it bring you down keep chasing it man and you're gonna catch some big bass just keep that big bass energy man i want to see big bass energy hashtag team ktb tv hashtag big bass energy all over the internet man every fishing video you watch not on my channel everybody's channel man Hashtag it below. But guys, we're gonna be catching some big bass. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you haven't already. And comment down below some video suggestions. I love you guys so much. You guys rock. All the support recently, all the comments, likes on the videos, and some of the comments, man, they're just phenomenal. Like seriously, like, it just warms my heart to see, like, I, I can't even express it, man, but a lot of the comments I read are just so heartwarming, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys and i cannot say that enough but let's go ahead and hop into today's video so i have a few baits tied on today and uh this is what we're going to be going with we're going to be hunting big bass today searching for giants man is back and running and let me show you guys a new bait okay i took this out yesterday i don't know if the video is going to be out or even if i'm posting it yet i didn't fish too long but this is actually called the swank we're calling it the old swanky okay let me tell you i think this is a new big bass bait i've been using the chatter bait for a while and you know i was like i kind of want to switch it up and try some new stuff this is actually by six cents and this is a crankbait actually we'll talk about it more on the water but this thing is a killer man it really is a killer and i am so excited to bring it on the channel and start using it i used it for the first time yesterday and boy was i impressed like very impressed and as you guys can tell right here we got a big jig that is you know a great big bass bait as well that we're going to be throwing today to catch some giants um if you guys do want to get 10 percent off on any six cents products i will leave the code in the description you don't have to it's just down there if you want to use it but uh yeah these are the combos that we're going to be going with today let's go ahead and get down to the pond and uh see how we're going to break it down today to catch a big bass all right guys we're at this beautiful 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 place if you guys are wondering about the conditions totally cloudy out overcast super windy the conditions are just looking so great right now i'm hoping it's not going to rain on me i don't i don't think it is but you know hopefully it's not as you guys can tell but the place that we're at i like the look at everything so i can figure out how to catch the big bass so i'm as you can tell when you look at this we have like a little pipe right here more than likely a fish on it that's just like a general location you guys want to look at it's stuff like that okay we also have a bunch of vegetation on the bank we got grass that comes out about 10 to 15 foot off the bank and, at, and it starts to drop off okay there's going to be a bunch of fish that stage up on the edge of this and also inside of this okay and then there's going to be as you guys can tell there's a little curve and it goes back into that pocket there's a bunch of wind there should be fish back there so we're going to be targeting around here there's also a drop off in the middle in this bend so fish are going to sit down in that so let's go ahead and get started start casting out and figure out what we're going to do to catch these big fish all right here are two options we're going to start off with the jig i usually start off with the moving bait but i want to flip around this pipe real quick to make sure there's not a fish creeping along right here that we could possibly catch okay first thing i'm going to do check my drag okay it's a little loose we're going to tight that tighten that down a little bit we don't want to make any mistakes here and uh we're going to start flipping man we're gonna flip right here in front of this pipe. Like I said, there could be a fish here. That's, that's not a guarantee, but there could be a bass that's lurking around right here. Okay, make a few, few flips. Make sure there's not one sitting here. All right, we didn't get hit. We're gonna cast out. Ooh, fish just hit right there on the edge of, the, what did I say, on the edge of the grass. What these fish are doing is they're pushing the bait up towards the grass and they're feeding on it. As you guys can tell, I just cast in my jig right out here and I'm gonna be working the grass edge, okay? There should be some fish stacked up on it and that's always something you wanna look at. All right guys, we got the old swanker out, man. You guys haven't seen this yet, but <laughs> you guys are about to see. You guys are about to see. That was a horrible cast to throw the swanker, but it's gonna be hard to actually fish this here because of the grass edge. Like it's gonna be hard to get the bait back, but I'm gonna still give it a shot today. If not, we might have to switch over to the chatterbait just just because of how it's not of how grassy it is. It's just of me getting it back. Look at this. See, look at that. That's annoying. It's because there's so much grass like on the edge. See, that's that's the annoying part. Ugh. We're gonna throw this parallel to the grass. Boom. 
Oh, I saw a fish chasing bait. We might get slammed, man. I feel like it'll eat the schwanky. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to get this thing back in. But we're gonna whip it out there. I've been seeing fish come up chasing bait. There's a bunch of wind right here. Might be able to get one on the schwanky. The old schwanky 5000, man. I wanna show you guys what this thing can do. Yep. Big and Come on, come on, don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Yep. <sighs> dude, what did I say, the schwanky dude? The schwanky. You guys don't know the schwanky lifestyle yet. I had so much fun yesterday. You guys are about to see what I mean by the sh by the schwanky. <laughs> he ate that sucker too. He didn't just swipe at it. He ate it. Already calling the pliers out. Look how he ate that sucker, man. We've only been here for a few minutes. Couldn't get him to commit on that jig right off the bat. So we pulled out the old schwanky by six cents in a crawl dat in a in a red pattern. We got the fish. What did I say? I said they were chasing bait up on that grass line. We threw the schwank out there and he tackled it, man. Straight up tackled it. That is a solid two, two to two and a quarter. We'll get a weight on him just to say, since it's the first fish today, he's not a bad one. He's so long. I'd say he's about two and a quarter. If we're super lucky, he's two and a half. But I just don't think that's the case. Exactly two and a quarter. <laughs> like 2.4. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I do not think he's two and a half. Okay. Well, our first fish today is two and a quarter on the Schwanky. That is beautiful, man. That is awesome. Great start on a moving bait. I love to see that, especially in overcast conditions and a little bit of wind, throw a moving bait in there. There it goes. That is awesome, baby. Hit the like button for that one. One thing I would like to say, I mean, this is a big profile. Like that's what I really like about it. Cause you guys know I love to fish for big bass. If you guys are wondering like the uh, original name for this is called the Swank Crank. I always call it the Swanky Man. This one deserves a name. You know how the Chatter Donk's a Chatter Donk? And then we got the Trap, which is a trap -a -roo. This is the Swanky Man. This one deserves this name because I know how good it's gonna be. Look at that, there's fish chasing bait. I can like see their backs come up throughout the water. Well guys, I really don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to cut off the swank. This isn't the best location for me to fish it just because of how the bank is going to treat me. But we are going to put a chatter donk on and I go at it as much as I have been fishing the chatter donk so much lately. I just, I don't know. Like I said, man, if we were at a different place, then this would work. This actually works at this place, but just bringing the bait in is kind of irritating because of how much grass there is on the edge. And I know we can get it done on the chatter donk. We can rip it through the grass on the edge. And uh, it's gonna be perfect, though. A line was ripping out of my reel right there. It was about right there where I just casted. Oh gosh, there he is. Stay down. I can't tell if he's big or not. Look at him running. Two pounder. Look at him. Look how wore out he is. I just, I just got you, buddy. He already gave up. Solid two pounder. Are you the one who was toying with me? Are you the guy that was messing with me? Look how he ate that thing. Dude, that is the stubbiest little two pounder I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Dude, something about the chatter donk, man. I love it. My confidence bait, man. You guys know me and the chatter. I'm pretty sure this might have been the same one, but they're feeding so much. Like, there's schools of these fish everywhere, and everything's just laying out really great, as in condition wise today. It's a beautiful fish. There he goes. All right guys, we're moving to a new spot right now. The spot that we were at was pretty decent, man. We got a few good solid fish, but you know that little pocket where all the wind was blowing? That's actually where we're gonna go right now. It just makes too much sense. You know, we see that fish are chasing bait right now. Not only are fish chasing bait, but it's overcast. You can just tell that they're roaming around a good bit. And all that wind is just caking in this pocket. And if you guys know anything, fish chasing bait, wind caking in a pocket, it's gonna be pushing all those bait fish in that pocket and those fish are going to be chomping. So we're about to park right now, get out and try to catch a giant. I mean a giant, boys. We gotta have that big bass energy. All right, boys, here's the pocket that we made it to. That's where we were fishing before. All this wind pushing in, this wind is whipping right now. If I didn't have a mic on my GoPro, it would be a struggle. Got my jig right here. 
we're gonna start off with the chatter donk we're gonna see if we can get some fish i know there's gonna be a bunch of fish stacked on this grass line just because of all the wind that's pushing by all this so there's gonna be fish all along the edge there should be some fish in the middle as well um, more importantly all the way in back of the pocket where all the wind is leading to but we're gonna start ch casting our chatter bait around and we're gonna try to catch a big one Come on, right there. Big and let's get it. Okay, I might have got bit. I might have had one eating me. Both my tails are gone. I had one tail gone from the start. I just ran with it, but both tails are gone on that thing now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My heart stopped. My heart stopped right there. Oh, freaking big bass, freaking giant bass. What the heck? He followed it in, dude. I saw his mouth come open like right in front of me. That was scary, dude. <laughs> Why? So they're acting weird now. I feel like they just switched from when we first got here. Right. We're making it out to a different area that last one did not produce and i'm really confused over that because you know when you see an area like that it, it, like with the wind blowing in especially on how the conditions were but then again the conditions have changed a lot um it's actually sunny out now there's still oh my gosh look at that boil that was the biggest boil i've ever seen that was the biggest boil i have ever seen from a fish dude that was a massive massive boil holy cow wow okay well, what i was saying is uh conditions have changed a good bit and uh, i seem like it just turned the fish off so i'm starting to throw this jig a little bit more I'm trying to throw something slower to see if they want that you know when they were feeding really hard i don't see any fish really chasing bait anymore but when they were feeding really hard you know they wouldn't even touch this jig so but now they're not even touching any of the moving baits so i'm trying to see if they'll eat you know, an old big jig off the bottom, see if we can get a big bass. There he is. Oh, on the swank. First cast. Oh yeah. Don't spit it. Dude, that's a big one. On the swank, bro. On the swank, bro. Look at that, guys. Picked up the swank. First cast. Got it done. I think they want that reaction. <laughs> Dude, he hammered that sucker. That's a three-pounder all day. We'll weigh him just to confirm because a lot of you guys think I'm just crapping on you all the time, but that is a three-pounder all day. I think he's about right at three. Might be three and a quarter. Nah, he's right at three. He is a three-pounder, boys. Come on, buddy. Let me get the weight on you, and I'll get you back in the water. Oh, my God. Dude, three pounds, one ounce. <laughs> okay. I almost called him exactly. I thought I was going to lay on three pounds, but three-pound bass right there on the swank, man. The swank might be the thing to get it done today. He slammed it. They don't want they they. You got to piss them off with the moving bait. That's exactly what we got to do, and I'm glad to hear that right there and figure this out because we're about to get it done now. These fish need something to react to. Three pounder, three pound, one ounce. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna throw you out, buddy. This is so, fish just hit right there. Oh gosh, my bad, dude. Jeez. This is like super thick, so it's hard for them to swim through. I've released plenty of fish right here. Okay, had to throw them out. Three pounds, one ounce. I will take that, man. That's our first good fish today. The other two were pretty good. They weren't giants, but they were pretty solid, okay? I cannot complain with a two pounder, but three pounder on the swank, man. Swank's getting it done. Chatter donkey just wasn't happening. Jig wasn't happening. Switched to the swank and uh, got slapped. And I'm pretty sure that was my first cast. I have to go watch the GoPro clip back. Like you guys are watching it now. Pretty sure that was my first cast.
Oh, oh so big. On the swing. Three pounder. Oh, that must be bigger. That's almost a four. That's almost a four right there. <laughs> Holy cow. Almost a four pounder on the swing. What did I say, man? They want that reaction. You got to piss them off. That's a big one, dude. That's a good fish right there, man. Look how fat he is. That's about a three and a half. Dude, I'd say three and three quarters. I'm going with it. I think he's about three and three quarters. It's a hefty guy. No, three six. So he's almost a pound and a half. Almost a pound and a, or a pound and a half. What am I saying? Almost three and a half pounds. And that is awesome right there. We are upgrading guys, catching big bass now on the swank. And I, that's what I was saying at the beginning of this video. I'm excited to start throwing the swank because I know it's gonna be a super, super, super valuable way, weapon in my arsenal. Whew, gosh. Like they won't eat the chatter donk or the big jig and that's usually what I throw. And now I just switched it up to something that they're gonna have to react to. And uh, Biggins, man, almost a three and a half pounder. There you go. Ooh, there he goes. Oh, I'm doing a little dance. Now I'm done with all you said, all you want.